Last time. No! <laughs> Let's keep going. Fucking piece of shit. Uh, Blanche rolls around again, leaving me with tuna and feeling um, melancholy. I considered checking out the cafeteria, but I don't want to go anywhere and hear those rude plebs. The classroom is nearly empty again today, leaving me sharing my lunch time with the one guy I'd rather avoid. What is that to die? You interested? The, 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 the silence is great. So you fall back to the blurting random things out plan again, huh? Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. da, da, da. Are you feeling alright? You're acting different from yesterday. I guess I'm just under the weather today. You look like someone who ran over a kid. I give a non chillon. Non non chillon. What? Okay, I shrug. Trying to put on a show for my usual airs. I'm not going to show this single moment of weakness from my rival. Dot dot dot. I never thought that the hero of princess would show uh, Langua in front of her rival. Ooh, I'm having a drink. <coughs> what, what, what? what did I call me? Rumor has it that you are a brave and brazen princess. Considering how you're timid you're acting, I can tell it was hyped up. Who told you that? A friend of mine named Kenta. I got to kill him next time I see him! I told him not to breathe a word! So it's true. Da da da! And this is the best show a member of the fine Imperial family can make. Are you mocking me? I am. I was expecting a real challenge from you, but the first. but the first. what? But the first time things don't go your way, you break down. What's going to happen tomorrow when I crush you in history? And yeah, dreams! I'm starting to see why Kenta wants to go to college instead of staying his servant to you. He's not going anywhere! So you don't own, know your own servants either. I pushed words out of his mouth. I'll bother Kenta for a meaning to them later. But for now, I need to knock Rude down a peg. I'm going to win this contest hands down! You think you can compete with me? Of course I can! I'll crush you! Look, that's better. Huh? You're looking a lot like a lot more lively. I was worried. You wanna get Oh god. Did I do it right? Oh yeah. You want to get defeated that belly? Bring it! I'm going down a window. That was a That wasn't the correct voice. Anyway. Then you better prepare, because I'll certainly will have. The havers this morning is lifted. He's right. I can't just sit here and waste time. However, there's one thing I need to do first. Kenta, the backstabbing traitor. Hey, Ari. Don't bother greeting him. I stride up, stab my stem back, and slap him with all my might. The noise echoes in the library. This, this is a gym, not a library. You're backstabbing. How? How could you ignore everything I was asking? When you tell him who I am. I trusted you, you jerk. What sort of servant does that? Jack! I... Calling me my lady in public is one thing, but you told him! Kenna drops to his knee and bows his head. I did not mean to cause you pain, my lady. I was only doing that because I thought it was best. Um, what you thought was best for who? You don't care at all! Dot dot dot. My rage was rapidly dwindling. Living a sharp stab of pain as I stare upon the bright red marks that my unexpected attack left. Please forgive me, my lady. Kenta! I heard him. I hit the one little side I ever had. I beg your forgiveness, my lady. I'm sorry! I betrayed your trust, and there is nothing I can do to redeem myself, my lady. Alright! Huh. I told you to come out! Alright! I sit down on the wooden benches. I can't look at him in the eye anymore. I was supposed to just chastise him, but when I saw him happy, I just lost control. After a few moments, he rises and sits down next to me. I'm really sorry, Ari. I told him because I was... he was asking about you. How did he know? We've been friends for a long time. I told him stories about you, and we put it together. That's kind of smart, isn't he? Totally. He reminds me a lot of you. Ta da 
Shada! I've always wanted to introduce you to him, but your father would never permit a commoner on the grounds. This was a great chance. I've always wondered who would beat whom in the battle for wits. How do you think it's gonna win? That's easy. My money's on you, Ari. You better not prove me wrong. Ta-da! But, don't forget, it is just a contest. Take it easy, so you don't have to worry about you. I've got to get back to the class, or the other guys will start looking for me. See ya! Um, uh, thanks, Kanta! No problem. What? Kanta! What is that about you leaving my service? Oh yeah. I'll talk with you later about that. See ya, Ari. Kanta is planning on leaving me? I must have misheard him. There's no way he would. But it makes me feel a little worse, a little less focused. I need to start planning and preparing for Friday. Then, there's tomorrow's test. Rue and his insults are not going to be easy to ignore. Friend of Kanta's or not, I should take that one lying down. But focusing on my strengths for Friday. Priorities, priorities! Okay, I'm just gonna drink. Oh, it's suddenly Wednesday, okay. Um, Wednesday, day of the first true challenge. Today, we are playing a Jeopardy game of history. I look across the classroom and see my rival smiling at me warmly. Um, keep grinning, Rue. I'm going to show you what the Imperial Princess can do. Uh, uh, okay. You're going to lead us a victory, genius girl? Of course! Good luck against Rue. You're going to need it. Luck has nothing more than a preparation pad with go. I've got both. Sheesh, I'm so Quiet down! I'm trying to study. I was spat. It was really gross. Dot, dot, dot. I can hear them going back to their whispers about me, but I'm not going to let them get to me today. No, not while he's looking so smart on the other side of the class. Um, who will be the first person to get for the blue team? I will, Miss Gula. I feel like uh, Ru or Ryu or whatever. I'm calling him Ru and Kento. 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 I have two similar voices. And red team. Oh god, burping. Um, go for it, Ari. You can take him. Nobody else is brave enough to try. Nobody else is stupid enough. So the smartest person to challenge him has to be stupid. That sort of illogical fallacy is why should the person to take the challenge? Have at it. Okay. Is the blue team ready? Of course. Is the red team ready? Uh, I give Ru a rod grim. I haven't forgotten that math test. I'm gonna win this. I'm ready! Then please step forward. Do I have to do anything? I hope not. Um, I walk to the podium, look at my rival next to me. I've got a bet for you, Ari. Something to make this contest a little more interesting. Ooh! What do you have a mind? Since yes, I confident that you'll beat me. Let's have a wager. If I win, you have to be my personal servant for one day and wear a maid outfit. If you win, I have to do the same. A mad outfit? That would be the best way to bring you down a peg. With a, with a buffler outfit. I did think that we that he would make a handsome minion, but the books all say the best way to defeat your opponent is to make him yours. But the words of Kenters from yesterday came sounding through. This sort of reckless bet is the type of thing that would make him worry. Other than humiliating, humiliating my rival, I don't uh, get anything out of this. I'd be ashamed of my life if I had to wear a maid outfit and serve him, even but for a day. My teacher is about ready to start. I need to make this quick. Because uh, 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 I want to, I want to, if it is a dating sim, I want to, I want this guy. I want them to go at it. Uh, so I'm going to accept, I guess. Bray it! <sighs> Let's start. First question, of course, goes to me. It was some weak thing about which countries are part of the Axis powers. I don't know what that means. Um, what should have been a slaughter? Yeah, what should have been a slaughter turns into a neck and neck competition. Despite my tips and pointers, several people on my team are complete idiots. I wish I could have just taken every single question and left them out of it. From the glares they are giving me, I think they'd be all for that plan. By the final question, we are perfectly even. We enter in the tiebreaker round, where I can soundly crush Rue once and for all. You better know of a good place that fits a tux. The 
the maid outfit in the drama apartment. That was, that's just your sass. I get them to lend it to you. Cover this at your weakness! I could say the same thing about you. The final question is... I'm ready. Um... Who used the first time access to describe the military alliance? Here in World War II. I don't fucking know. I... I don't remember that one in the material. Crud. I need to decide quickly before Ruby beats me. Think. Think, Ari. Think. Ah, oh, what the fuck? I don't know this shit.